So with a big live letter coming up tonight, I have seen an explosion of leaks and data mines sharing throughout the community. And I feel like now was probably a good time to address that and talk about how I feel like it has negatively impacted the community and why I personally have taken steps to prevent the spread of leaks and heckin' data mines. First of all, my hands are not clean on this uh, in the beginning of Stormblood. Anytime I heard a leak or a data mine or any kind of piece of information I could get my hands on, I would spread it. I would talk about it on the stream. I was, I was excited about it because, of course, I care about this game a lot. And any, any little shred of info I can get, uh, I'll cling to because, you know, when you're passionate about something, it's like <laughs> you want to know more about it. It's, it's natural. It's human nature. And um, in the beginning, you know, I didn't even think about how maybe that would be damaging. Uh, I was just like, oh, wow, this is new info. Maybe it's happening. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, it seemed harmless to me because uh, I was naive. I was dumb. And I regret it. Now that Stormblood is over and Shadowbringers approaches, I can look back with, you know, hindsight being 2020, and I can look back at all of the ways that the players getting information before it was meant to be released really ruined player expectations. It made things that would have otherwise been exciting to learn about and, and cool disappointing. It completely destroyed a lot of the hype around different major announcements. For example, now I'm not going to go into every single leak because first of all, some people haven't gone through the story completely yet, so I don't want to be too spoilery. Um, but Viera were leaked, and the uh, parts of the main story quest were leaked. Raid details were leaked. Um, Blue Mage, of course, leaked. The biggest problem with the leaks is that this is unverified information that might be incomplete, it might be wrong. And for some reason, we all got so excited about the information. I guess it's because, nor you know, the general content updates that we get officially are so far between a lot of times that it's like the slow drip. And a leak is like a guy coming out of a back alley like, hey, I got more of that. But it's dangerous. To, to to get that <laughs> from the back alley, you should trust Square Enix. I feel like as leaks were verified over the course of Stormblood as an expansion, it made players give more credibility to these leaks than they ever, ever should have. And um, it got to a point where when we heard the leak about Viera, we thought, oh, well, they didn't mention that there's... They didn't mention a gender lock. And it was like we had we had gotten to the point of trusting the leaks so much that l the lack of a mention about a gender lock implied that there would not be one. Even I, myself, I was so certain that there would not be a gender lock that I infamously told my stream, there's no way they're going to gender lock male Viera. Like, you guys are being so ridiculous. You're making something out of nothing. Okay, we heard about Viera coming, and we know that there, if there was going to be a gender lock, we would have heard about it by now. I was so smug, so sure. I was like, if they gender lock Viera, I will eat my sock. Okay. <laughs> Guess what? I had to eat my sock. It was pretty great. Well, I got a clean one, but still, it wasn't great. Don't trust the leaks. They are not verifiable. <laughs> Moreover, the Blue Mage stuff. Let's talk about that. We heard that Blue Mage was going to be a class. And the hype for that was probably even more intense than the hype for Viera. And hearing that Blue Mage was going to be a class, us having no previous experience with limited jobs before, we all assumed it was going to be a full-bodied <laughs> class. And so... That announcement at FanFest, when we heard that it was happening, we had built up all of this expectation that was immediately destroyed when they mentioned, oh, it's going to be capped at level 50. Oh, it's going to be a limited job. Even though they told us that immediately after the announcement, 
it didn't matter because at that point we had so much expectation built up because of the leaks. That's so damaging to the community and it's damaging to our relationship with the dev team. Unverifiable or limited info <laughs> leaks and data mines have uh, steered player expectation in a way it was never meant to go. Does Square Enix deserve some of the blame for that? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, they do. Because apparently there was somebody on the inside who was getting that information out and they need to, that's their responsibility, okay? They're not off the hook for that. But at the same time, as a community, we can do better. That's what I'm here to say. We've got the live letter coming up tonight and I have seen an explosion in the amount of leaks and data mines that are being spread everywhere. They're being spread in like spoiler channels uh, that are not for that. <laughs> Spoilers are not leaks, y'all. Spoilers are like story stuff. Like if you play through the story, uh, that is a some things you can talk about in a spoilers area. Uh, that's, that's, that goes back to my earlier point though. People are so sure that these leaks and data mines are real and verifiable and accurate. And this is exactly how it's going to be in the game. You're actually going to put it in a spoiler channel of, oh, this is what you can expect in the future. No, it's not. It's not what you can expect. We've learned that, or we should have learned that by now. Uh, I don't want to sit here and rant forever. I feel like I've made my point. I just, uh, I, know, I know that there's going to be people out there who no matter what, you're going to, when you find out that there's leaks in the air, you're going to hunt them down and, you know, read about them. That's your prerogative. But I'm just saying, maybe be more thoughtful about the way that you spread them, the way that you talk about them. No, no, just don't. Could you not? <laughs> Could you actually not? Spread that. That would be great. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> on a lighter note, <laughs> we have the live letter coming up tonight and that's very exciting news. I'm really excited about it. Um, I'll be doing a restream. I'll be doing a reaction stream live in a couple of hours. It's eight, about eight o'clock, around 8.30 now. So in about two hours. So you'll be able to see that probably around the time that you're watching this video. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Actually, I'll see you on the stream if you come by for that, for the live letter. See you on the other side, y'all. Bye.